Hi gang, Scott Davenport here, and in this video I'm talking about printing. I do my printing on Red River paper, and I've been playing around with a couple of other of the paper stocks more recently, because uh, we've got some time on our hands, we're still in late April, early May of 2020, not getting outside as much, so I've been doing a lot of printing, and uh, I wanted to talk about uh, my two favorite papers right now, and the first one is the Picos River gloss. Let me get that over here. And I started with this paper doing black and white work and was just really, really happy with the detail, how crisp it was. The depth of the blacks is really, really nice and deep. I printed this photo on several different stocks of their paper to see which ones I liked the most. I actually did a video on that a while back. was really happy with Picos River and then decided to do some of those with color and so did some color prints as well on the same paper stock and again the, the color rendition is really nice it's crisp it does have a little bit of a glare though depending on what angle you're looking at right it's a glossy paper so there's that aspect to it but overall really happy with Picos River it's um, kind of my go-to paper for when you want a really crisp powerful photo it really does just jump right off the page there the other paper that I've been playing around with, and this once again started in the black and white world, is this Ultra Pro Satin. And so, you know, this photo here, it's um, it gives it a little more of a what I call a gallery feel. It's not as shiny, but the detail is really nice. the The, the depth of the blacks is really good. The brights are really good. When I look at the color photos, they're nice as well. Uh, I would say for a photo that has really rich, crisp color. You want that that difference. You know, this is the same photos printed one on Picos River, one on the Ultra Pro Satin. The Picos River has a little more punch with the uh, glare aspect to it, where with the satin you don't have that as much. I can look at it from many different angles, and I don't have a glare. Where if I tilt this, for me right now, there's a lot of shine on the print, so I don't see the photo itself as much, but when I look at them straight on, Picos River's got a little more of a punch, but the, the Pro Satin is still a really nice paper. Uh, I think of the two, I am really enjoying the Ultra Pro Satin for black and whites. It just does have a very museum quality to it, really nice feel. And the paper itself, you know, I love that sound. It's it's really just, uh, it, it's got nice weight to it. It's It's crisp. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So um, if you're looking for two papers that are pretty versatile, uh, Ultra Pro Satin, Picos River, both are good. I'd say if uh, you're looking for a more universal paper, I would lean a little more toward Picos River. You get just a little more punch, a little more crisp. Just be aware, it's a very glossy paper, so you have some glare with it. If you're looking to do some uh, black and white work with, uh, with a museum kind of feel or a gallery kind of feel, check out the Ultra Pro Satin. Now, one other paper is worth mentioning. Uh, it's changed names over the years, like the Polar Pearl Metallic. The photos you see on the wall behind me were printed with those. And those have uh, an extra amount of sheen or, uh, or you know, it's a uh, it's like a metallic style of paper. So if you have a photo that would look really good on a metal print, you can check out that paper. I'm starting to shy away from it a little bit because more of my photos, there's, there's too much too much glare off of them. One photo in particular I've got on the wall, maybe off camera, of a waterfall where the water tendrils really jump off on that page because most of the scene is dark. Uh, it, it, it's tempered. So think of a photo, if it looked good on metal, you might want to take a look at the Polar Pearl Metallic. And I'll put the a proper name of the paper and links in the show notes. But just thought I'd share those, uh, those papers with you. If you're looking for something to do while you can't get out with the camera, do some printing. I've got a whole series of videos about printing, all free. You can check them out and uh, print some of your work. It is really rewarding. And with that, I'm going to conclude the video. Thanks very much for watching. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, have fun.